It's Jeremy. Hello. Hello, my friend. Hello. I had uh, replied to one of your videos on YouTube yes. and uh, started that discussion and you had suggested continuing it here. We had here a we great are. back and forth. Could you, could you just help everybody to catch up? It was yes. probably only you and I reading that back and forth we had. Uh, <laughs> on yeah, YouTube. it was in it was in your uh, a mirror of shaming, one of the fifth better yeah. uh, focuses, and I had expressed my appreciation for how you or how I had uh, interpreted this repeated common thread that you say over and over and over, um, and I've had no like uh she's just repeating herself but it's like though this is so foundational and core to everything um to you know notice when you're activated feel into the body notice the thoughts disconnect them ask yourself if you can be in a body with that sensation if yes give it love and compassion if no can you be in a body that is re you know that can't be and so get to the point where you can just uh, sit. And you had initially replied, that's fantastic. Thank you. And then it seems like you uh, had slept on it <laughs> uh, and had woken with some clarity that you wanted, uh, you wanted me to be careful that I wasn't, uh, pardon? Yeah, that you weren't cerebral about it. Yes. Yeah, go on, go on. I was interrupting. Go on. Um, and I think I understood half of what you're, you were saying, uh, that um, I wasn't feeling any attachment to this new belief or this new thing. Um, and then I, I think I got lost, which is probably why I'm not able to articulate the, <laughs> the other part of it that I wasn't quite understanding. Yeah, I, I obviously can't remember what I wrote, um, but... What I wanted, what what I woke up with was was that, ooh, I wonder if Jeremy is now in his in his head about because you made it into a, a and I love bullet points. You made it into a, into a bullet point overview of this and this and this mm. and this, and I loved that. It was like such a thrill reading that. And then I woke up next morning and was like, hmm, I wonder if he's cerebral about it. I wonder if you are in your head and now it's a checklist to do that and to do that and to that because that is missing the point it's it needs to be a bodily experience and that's why it's so difficult to put words on a bodily experience because we experience it with labels of that our mind created so it's very much about getting back into the body how does it feel now and that keeps changing and and we just keep and it, it's why it's it's why it's great to have a guide that can walk you take you in your hand and walk you through but how does that feel and how does that feel and how does that feel because it needs to be be a bodily a physical a bodily sensory experience that we have and the moment we start to explain but it feels like a contraction whoops you're in your head you are now in your head trying to explain how it feels the real experience is here and there are no words to describe it the moment we put a word on and say it's a contraction, we're minimizing the experience to what it actually is. Partly because there's no word to describe it, but also partly because it has already changed. From when I said it was a contraction, now it's still a contraction, but a bit different. Now the breath is connected as well. So it's, it's that keep, keep checking in on the experience on what is happening now and now and now and now. It, it was the only asterisks I had when I woke up and thought like Jeremy I need to write him and make sure that he's not, <laughs> that he's not in his head uh I agree with everything you said I, I I understand that uh that feels like how I'm approaching it and that I'm not um I, I certainly know that I am in my head uh, a lot less than I have been for my whole life and that I am much more in my direct experience, particularly my bodily sensations more than I ever have. Uh, 
you you talked about um, you know being diverted from the sensation to thoughts and stories. Uh, that's been a trip. Um, every like, I've yet to find an example of where that's not the case. Um, yeah. Where like, oh, I I need to do something. I'm catching myself now. I mean, like, oh, what what's in my body? This is. <laughs> this is fascinating um and there's always something there that is yes. slightly unpleasant isn't it crazy isn't it crazy <laughs> it was exactly what anna talked about previously you know that every time we get like an urge to divert we can have that as a knee jerk reaction to oh hang on why do you suddenly want to you know empty the post box why do you suddenly want to start to you know bake a bread why do you suddenly pick up the remote go on netflix there's something which you're diverting from whenever we start to do something completely out of the blue look into that what 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 is going on in your body right now what thought did you have just before that happened i can't remember okay it doesn't matter how does it feel in the body what is happening in your body i'm contracted if i should put a label on it was said anger is there nobody here to be angry about no okay what could it be about it can't be anger. So what? What is contracting? Oh, I might. It was actually something that happened yesterday. Just keep going into the body and into the body and see where it's pointing. And it's super, super interesting because there's always something there. The first time I heard you say that, I was like, "This? I don't know about this." And then when I actually tried it, uh, it's it's amazing that there's there's always been and something there. Yeah. So thank and you. It's just, it, it just, oh, you're so welcome. And thank you very much for doing it. Thank you very much for going with it. And it's, it just puts us into a space where we are authentic with whatever is happening and we are open for whatever is happening. There's no attachment to a story or attachment to me being in a certain way, or there's just complete freedom in whatever is coming up. I'm looking at it and I'm creating space for it. And I'm appreciating it and then it dissolves again and then something else comes up. It's like gives us that complete nine feather flow where there's just flowing with whatever is happening. And whenever any kind of diversion or restlessness happens, then we look into what it's about. It's it's beautiful nine feather explanation that you that you're coming with. I love it so much. I appreciate all of your uh, your videos. It's been Me. it's been fantastic. I'm so happy. So happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What well, was there anything else that we wrote? Because I feel there was something in, I can't remember what it was that I wrote, that there was something that we talked about. There was the notion of the separation between uh, the way that you'd put it was when you open your eyes, can you notice the separation and the perceived and the assumed perceived? Mm. Do you know Is what that I mean? It? That? Yeah. yeah I do. do you know what I mean with that? Okay, good. Good. Perfect. Okay. Love it. Thanks again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much.